hi this is a video continue to the my previous video in my previous video one user asked me to create how how we can create an IAM user policy which would be having access to particular s3 bucket so in this video i am going to show you how we can create uh, i am user policy for user to access a particular bucket by using the terraform so this is my previous working directory and users i have created one module it is a uh, name s3 i will show you here in my main dot file i am declaring module capital s3 sources dot slash s3 as it is in present directory so it would be dot slash s3 and in this s3 module i have created one file called is bucket i am going to create a new s3 bucket aws underscore s3 underscore bucket is the resource i am using and khalid khalid's hyphen bucket is my bucket name as if you remember we have two users i will show you in variables we have list of users which we had created in previous module so in this video i am going to create a policy for khalid user only not for both only for user khalid okay so as i'm creating a bucket in s3 i am giving it a name as khalid's bucket okay so let's take a look on our users file here in my previous video i have shown you this i have explained how i have created this user from the count as it is taking a length of this uh, variable list we have two so it will run for two times and yeah. and it will attach the policy ec2 have a users i will show you policies in this policies i had created this policy for i am user for ec2 full access it is a custom one so it is now explained in previous video now in this video i have created another policy for s3 bucket so i am using aws i am policy resource and uh, this resource i am giving uh, any name here and name for the policy is s3 bucket for i am user okay so in this policy what are the actions action is for get list delete and put object so user having uh, access to uh, list the bucket bucket contents delete it put it and multi upload is also i have enabled here and the resource is the arn for the bucket the bucket arn must be khalis hyphen bucket it's followed by this arn if i quickly show you on my s3 as you can see currently we have one two three and four buckets okay and uh, on my i am user for this user khalid the permission you can see it only have i am user change password policy ec2 full access which we had created in previous video and amazon ec2 full access by default i had missed uh previous to previous video i had attached this policy manually okay let's back to the code and uh, now let's attach this policy to our user khalid so go to users we have this resource aws i am user policy attachment so newly creating we are creating this policy and we are going to attach to the user user is khalid so user is aws i am user as you can see aws i am user we are, we have created here aws i am user 
and a name any name we had provided was the new users and now this dot dot one dot one is for Khalid as list start with zero and one we are getting this Abdul is for zero and Khalid is having value index value is one so here then here we are providing one dot name and we are attaching our policy it is in AWS I am policies let me quickly open it in the side we can open it okay so I am user policy and then s3 oops oh man and then s3 bucket policy the name of our policy yeah here for this terraform it is considering it and dot arn so it will take this policy let's close this and quickly let's check how we can run it i'm not going to use powershell i'm using ubuntu my wsl powershell can be delete it's taking a bit time to open my wsl as it is not running previously now i am in my wsl if i do ls here i am in the users cd users as you can see we have the files we have s3 directory and all our files which are here are present it is showing now i need to access my aws so the terraform required access key and secret key i have to source it it is in my terraform underscore start creates.sh so there i have stored my credentials i have resource it and now we have to initialize the terraform as we have created new module so we need to initialize it again now it is initialized let's have a plan look okay now it is executed let's expand the output window and let's see now we can see it is going to create this i am policy the s3 bucket policy it is creating and it is attaching to this user and it is also creating a bucket s3 bucket okay let's go ahead and apply the changes and we can verify on our aws portal terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve okay so now it is completed as you can see it has created three resources for us it has created a bucket khalid's hyphen bucket and it has created a policy and have attached it to aws user khalid so let's quickly check our s3 let's refresh it here must be one bucket okay now it is coming let's refresh till we get it i am user we are also refreshing it okay here now you can see we have this khalid's bucket we have successfully created with terraform bucket policies on permissions all are by default one we have not uh, made any changes to it okay let's have a look on our user the user is khalid let's quickly go from here khalid user and let's check it is having a new policy this 
now this user Khalid can access this S3 bucket. You can see it it has list read and write permission. Okay, so that's it for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Stay safe. Stay home.